Hello everybody. Welcome friends, new and returning to Deborah's journey. My name is Deborah, and over here I do cash stuffing, budgeting, a grocery haul every now and then. And I'm documenting my $50,000 student loan payoff journey. So today I'm going to be stuffing my savings challenges, my goals binder, and I have some happy mail. Okay, so we know May is in full swing, right? And this is the first week of May, but I love the month of May. I guess because we have Cinco de Mayo, we have Mother's Day, we have Memorial Day weekend, like the first official summer weekend, and usually graduations and school is out. <laughs> I don't know, some people might not think that's a great thing, but it is just a wonderful time to sort of bring in summertime. So, and we're actually not in summer weather this week. It's cold and it's raining. So I wish the weather would make up its mind, okay? <laughs> That's all. That's all I want. I'm going to count my money. And so $235. Okay, so before I get started, I wanted to show you all something. Uh, I have a happy planner. I'm a happy planner girl. And my planner was down to the final month, so I didn't have any luck finding a new planner. Um, for some reason, it's just not an easy thing. Maybe because they only mass produced them for the beginning of the year. I don't know. But anyway, I found this little, um, it's like a, plan, a budget planner kit. And there's only six months in here, but I love the colors. Um, the, they have some really nice pages on here. I love how the month is set up, they have trackers. And then towards the back of this, they inserted a little pocket which I thought was really cute because I didn't have this when I had the full planner, uh, which is, I believe, the, the seven by nine, maybe. And it's like a classic. So I can use this, definitely. I put receipts or bills in here. And then there's some nice stickers, really nice stickers, and of course the date. So. This was really nice. And believe it or not, I went to Joann's and this was only $9, you all. So I was so happy with the price. Um, but I need to go back and maybe get another one. So I'll have the full year, right? <laughs> okay. So before I start, I want to go into this lovely, surprising Happy Meal. So this Happy Meal comes from Miss Rami. And her channel is Budget Paparazzi. She reached out to me and just said she'd like to send me some happy mail. Well, it made me happy. I was just talking about how I love getting happy mail. And voila, check my mailbox. This was in there. So thank you, Rami. I appreciate this. I remember first watching her channel. And what st stuck out was she was doing challenges with these little frogs, I think. And she would just be coloring them in and putting her money in there and playing the best music. I would just be rocking away while she was <laughs> doing her challenges. Um, but I I just really loved her content. So I just want to thank her for thinking of Deborah. This really means a lot. Thank you so much. I have opened the top, but I have not looked inside. So we're going to do it together. Okay. Let's see what's in here. May have to open that a little more. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. So I have a little scratch card here. Oh, it's a mini scratch card. And it's for $30. Thank you. This is so cute. 
Okay, I like that. And here's another one. $100 savings challenge. Yes, yes. This is really nice. I'm running out of challenges. You saw my last video. I needed some more challenges. So this is really beautiful. And the fact that it's $100, I like it even more. Thank you so much. And oh my gosh. Deborah, just a gift to brighten your day and three D-Bucks to start the challenges off. I love watching your videos. You're a real one. Love, Rami. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. <laughs> wow, thank you. This is so nice. You guys, remember when I was saying that I didn't want to give up my D-Bucks because I worked so hard on them? And I did. But I gave them up because I used them for my student loan. And here we go. The D-Bucks are coming back to me. And so I am so happy. I had three D-Bucks. And last weekend when I was in in um, Las Vegas, I was able to get two D-Bucks. So now I have five D-Bucks. Hey, I think that's pretty good. That's a great start. Wow, thank you so much, Rami. This is just the most kindest and sweetest gift that you can give to me. I really appreciate it. My heart is touched and I'm so happy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we get to put some money in our D-Bucks folder. Let's put that over there. And I'm gonna move this here. Wow, so appreciative of the kindness of the people in this community. Get to know the people in the community. You would be so surprised how much love and support is here for all of us. So I'm going to start with my, let's start with our goals binder because I usually don't put a lot of money in this. So I'm going to start with this one. And so this is goals or savings or things I'm trying to accomplish. That's what this folder is for. Okay, so the first one is P.O. Box. And so I need to add some money to this one. And so I'm going to add 30 dollars to PO box. So now I have 20, 30, 40 dollars in the PO box envelope. Okay, emergency fund. This is not my main emergency fund. This is extra that goes towards my emergency fund. So I'm going to put 20 dollars in here. Oh that's funny. I turned I put the larger bills in the front and the smaller ones in the back. Maybe this is a good thing. <laughs> Maybe it's a good thing. We'll see. Okay, so I am going to be um, coloring in four of these little icons. So I have my main emergency fund in Capital One 360 in the high yield savings. And so that's where that's housed. I'm trying to get that built up because $1,000 is not enough. Not in this day and time. It goes too fast. So let's see how much money I have in this. And I need to, towards the end of the month, move this to my account. I have 20, 40, 60, 80. Wow, I have almost another $100. I am happy about that. I think it's, maybe I didn't put any money. I probably didn't move this to my, um, online count last month. That's why I have so much. But $80. Yes. Okay, so I have taxes. And that's just to add a little extra to boost my taxes that I have to pay. So I'm going to add 25 to this. It's 20 and 5. So I have $20, $45 that I'll be moving to my online taxes sinking fund towards the end of this month. I have Debt Snowball. Debt Snowball is my Discover card, and I'm going to be adding $30. Let me get some of these other bills. I have a lot of ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's 20 and 30. 
So $30, and this is going to my Discover card payment towards the end of this month. This is just a boost to the normal payment that I make each month. Blessings. Blessings is for my giveaways. I emptied this out because I just finished my 500 subscriber giveaway, and now I'm at 600. Now I'm going to be adding 25 to this and getting ready to start saving for my next giveaway. Now, interestingly, someone sent me a message saying, well, you're at 600 now. When are you going to give your cash away? And I thought, well, that's odd because I didn't recognize the person. But I'm going to be waiting till I reach 700 subscribers, and that will be my next giveaway. So stay tuned for that. And when I get close to that number, I'll start sharing what that giveaway is going to be. So I have 25, 6, 7, 8, 29, and 30 dollars in my blessings envelope, and then V bucks. So I need to find a tracker. I'm going to use this temporarily. These are just dollars, and when I'm done with this, I'll have 35 dollars. But I do want to find one of the D, actual D buck tracker. So I know there's several people that have them, but I'm going to be looking for that one. So let me just put a mark here. I don't need to really color them in. So I already have one D buck because that was an extra D buck. I have my two dollar bill from Kathy that I keep. That that's a good luck two dollar bill. I'm not spending that. It just sits there. And so I have one, two, three, four, five, six D-Bucks. Yes, I'm so happy that I'm starting this again. So again, I save the dollars until I reach $50 again. And it will go to my student loan payment, just like the, the last one did. So that's my goals binder. And so this is now my savings challenges. And so the first thing is car tags. Car tags, we're getting close to this being due. I am going to put 25 in here. Just gonna put a line through it. Color it in later. And this will help boost my car tags that are due at the end of May. And so this is May. So I only have, I have three more cars. I finished this one. So that's $50. I'll be able to hit, get those in time. And then I believe I'll still owe about another $100. So that's better than owing $300. So I have a total of 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 35, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. Okay. 150. Food. So this is going to help me boost my Sam's Club. So I'm going to go ahead and, and color in two of these. Just put a circle. And so I'm going to add $10 to this. And so now I have 10, 20, 30, 5, and $40. This is going to go towards Sam's Club when I make another grocery trip there. This is my cute little snow cone tracker. And this is from Kiara Budget and Grow. And each one of these little snow cones is worth $2. So I'm going to be putting $20 in this. And so I'm going to mark out 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. Okay, so that's $20. And I'm going to take three, three, one, two, three, four, five. Let's 
count how much clay we have in the snow cone. So we have 20, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, and 60. So $60 is in here. I'm going to be trying to finish this so I can add it to my student loan payment. These are my monthly trackers. So the month of April, I'm going to be adding $10. Um, then next time around, I will stuff the, the May tracker. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Okay. So April has 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So twenty dollars, and that means that April will. Let me find a little pink. Color these. Four. Okay. So April will have twenty dollars when I'm done. The, the goal is to keep doing these monthly trackers until June. And then when June comes, hopefully I will have finished all of the months and then that will go towards my student loan payment. Okay, the next one is the cupcake. I love this one because you get to make cupcakes. This comes from Liz and Les. And here's my cupcake tracker. So I have $10. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take a $10 wrapper this time around. I love it because they're peel and stick and you don't have to scratch them and wipe down something. <laughs> they're just really easy. So now I have my cupcake wrapper here and so I'm gonna add $10 to this one. So I'll take two fives. And that's 20. I have $25 in the cupcake tracker. And so this one is also going towards my student loan payment. Okay, then I have clothing. Clothing is going to get, this is from One Frugal Introvert. It's called the One Bougie Introvert. These are clothing tags. I'm going to color in two of them. Each one is worth $5. So I have two completed. I'm going to add $20, $10. And so I, I have 20, 40, 5, and 50. So $50 to go towards clothing. And then my last challenge is my favorite. It's the gumball challenge. I have been working on this one for a while, and I am really focused on trying to finish this. Hopefully I'll have this done by the end of June because this is $500 that I am going to be designating to several things. So I definitely want to hurry up and get this one out of the way. I'm going to add $20 to this. So I have 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So there's $20 going into this one. Just coloring in my little gumballs. I'll color them in off camera. Okay. And so the savings jar is over halfway done, which is wonderful. And so I'm getting closer and closer to getting this one finished. So let's count our money and see how much I have in here. I have 120, 40, 60, 80. 200, 20, 40, 60, 85, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, and 300 dollars. So very good. I have 300 dollars. I have 200 to go, and then I will be done with this challenge. Okay, so that is my savings challenges, my goals binder, 
my happy mail. Thank you again, Rami, so much. Just beautiful. And I want to thank everybody for joining me today for my cash stuffing. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. Don't forget. And like my video. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. I hope you're having a great day wherever you are. And I will see you next time.